Sarajevo, 6 o'clock in the morning. Sister Magdalena Schildknecht leaves her Franciscan cloister and starts her way to work. Sarajevo is a multicultural city. The skyline is full of minarets, church towers, and synagogues. But it's still divided by faith and ethnicity. Sister Magdalena does youth ministry work for young people of all faiths. An unusual job these days. It's the morning conference at a drug addiction prevention association. The social workers are Muslims, Catholics, and atheists. Sister Magdalena doesn't know the beliefs of her fellow caregivers. We don't talk about faith. That's what makes our situation special. The Bosnian War ended in 1995, but tensions from the conflict still run deep in this multi-ethnic country. 11,000 people died in Sarajevo alone during the war. Bosnian Serb troops laid siege to the city for almost four years, dug into positions high above the town. Sharpshooters took aim at people as they tried to go about their lives. The siege effectively broke up Sarajevo's multicultural, multi-ethnic society. Today the city is dominated by Bosnian Muslims, with a substantial Catholic minority. Most Serbs live apart in an eastern quarter of Sarajevo. The 1995 Dayton Accords brought peace, the product of compromise from each side. But according to Ivan Sarcevich, a Sarajevo theologian, the aggressors succeeded in one way. People now largely stick to their own ethnic and religious groups. The present situation is a pity. People are ignoring each other. There is no wish to meet others. So imagine, in this information technology age, we don't want to meet others. There's a lack of knowledge of others. Believe me, there are people living in this city who won't visit a church or a mosque belonging to others. People from the outside say, talk to each other. That's something that even the politicians aren't doing, not to mention religious authorities. Sister Magdalena is trying to break down those divisions and build something new. Here in a school outside Sarajevo, she leads seminars with students who want to become mentors. We need to form a circle so we can join hands. I would like you to stand up and come here. The students take hold of a red cord that binds them together. It's a simple exercise. But it addresses basic issues of trust, something that will be needed to rebuild a sense of community in Bosnia. Most students from different ethnic backgrounds go to separate schools. Schools also suffered greatly under the pressure of the war. Then afterwards, schools became politicized. Education became a means to separate ethnic groups. Back in Sarajevo, in a high-rise district from the era when Yugoslavia was a united socialist country. Aida Brda is a social worker from Sister Magdalena's organization. She's picking up one of her charges. Once a week, Haris here does volunteer work at a retirement home. The people here are Muslims and Catholics and many atheists. It's a mirror of the population of the former Yugoslavia. Here, the past lives on, the time before the Bosnian War. But outside, Haris must cope with nationalist pressure every day. When he was younger, he was a hooligan and hung out with nationalists. Young people are a source of potential. It's excellent to have them contributing to society. Older people transfer life experience to them, so they support each other. It's a ray of hope for the young people involved, but Hari says that in Sarajevo's suburbs, it's another question. I know some people who think differently from me. 
And they can't imagine even someone from Croatia or Serbia moving here. They can't live with that fact. Haris is now 18 years old. Sister Magdalena has been helping care for him since he was a child. People like him are one reason she does her job. Sister Magdalena hopes her charges won't fall under the spell of nationalism. In any case, I hope they don't get involved in party politics, but that they really contribute and help develop a democratic society here. Sister Magdalena has high hopes for the next generation, but in a country still divided by ethnicity and religion, it looks like the fruits of today's labors may not be visible for some time to come.